everybody, it's Professor Williams, and in this video, we're going to look at finding an unknown value of x. So, there are a lot of times where we need to know a value of x beyond or below which a given percentage of our data falls. So, we could do this by simply working our z-score formula backwards, but it's really easier to use this linear version or this magic formula where x is simply equal to the mean plus the z-score times the value of the standard deviation. So on average, a pressure washer uses 1.25 gallons of water per minute with a standard deviation of 0.25 gallons. So 80% of the time, a pressure washer is going to use fewer than how many gallons per minute. So we're really looking to say 80% of the time, we're going to use fewer than x gallons. The other 20% of the time, we're going to use more than x gallons. So we're going to begin with our magic formula, right? and we know that we're solving for x, so x is going to remain an unknown, but we were given a mean of 1.25 gallons, and to that, we're going to add z times that standard deviation of 0.25 gallons. And so we may not know what our z is, but we can find it. And that's because we have a cumulative normal distribution table. And so just bear with me in my drawing here. We want to know 80% of the time we were going to use fewer than x gallons. And so, in other words, only 20% of the time were we going to use more. So what we know is there is a given number of standard deviations that we will move above the mean so that 80% of the data falls below that value of z. So we're going to look up this 80% inside the body of our table bring it back and plug that z in to the formula here, and then we'll have our value of x. So I'm looking for 80%, and so remember I'm looking in these quantities here, right? And I want 80%, and I think that the closest I'm going to get to it is 0.7995. So reading the table backwards, that gives me a z-score of 0.8. Four, and that's what I'm going to go plug into my formula. All right, so we decided that our z-score was going to be 0 0.84. 84, and that's going to be my missing piece of my formula up here. And so now I can simply solve that. It's going to end up being 1.25 1 plus 0.21, which is going to give me an x of 1.46. So now that x value is 1.46. And so what I know is 80% of the time, this pressure washer is going to use fewer than 1.46 gallons per minute. So just one quick note before we leave. You'll notice that this formula only has a plus sign in it. And we only need the plus sign because had I been solving for an area that was down here, my z-score would have been negative. And the fact that I plugged in a negative z value for this z would have taken care of moving my value of x to the left. So you don't need two formulas. You simply need this one and let the sign on your z-score move you either to the right or to the left of the mean. As always, I hope that you found this useful and thanks so much for watching.